In this tutorial, we will be continuing on the theme of inwardly rectifying potassium channels, and we will be looking at um, residues surrounding the ligand binding site. So here we have a structure of a KR um, 2.2 channel 3SPI with um, PIP2 bound in their binding site in the crystal structure. Firstly, we would like to color the protein to be white so that it's nice and clean and easy to have a look at. So we will go for C, color, gray, and we'll color everything white for now. It doesn't look too white because of the way we set our lighting. So I would prefer to set our light direct, so set direct to set direction of a light to 0 0.6. So now it's really nice and white. Now, um, being white is actually very hard to see on a sequence panel because it would fade away. Actually, let me change it. I decide to change my mind and have it. I would always go for orange. I like my protein being orange. And I would have my PIP2, which is my ligand, as uh, I don't know, um, color that uh, I would go for a bright pink then. So here I have my ligand as pink on the orange background. Uh, I'm going to change this to pale yellow so that my life is a bit easier. And my ligand is going to be purple. So you can see that I can play around with these color a lot to help myself seeing the structure to stand out. Now, to make my life also a lot easier, I would, um, I would set cartoon transparency down to 0 0.8. Five, so that I can see mainly the region that I'm interested in. So here I'm looking at PIP2 binding site, right? And ideally I would like to look at this one chain at a time. So here's the chain I'm interested in at the PIP2 binding site of the Kia 2.2 channel. Now, my main focus now will be to look at what residue is coordinating or interacting with my PIP2 di C8 ligand or lipid that I co-crystallized, that um, Rod McKinnon co-crystallized with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this selection and I'm going to go for action and modify. And I would go for modify around residue within full angstrom. What this is doing is this will modify my selection to include residues within four angstrom of PIP2 or PIO that I'm interested in. And when I do that, these, these dotted things will come up. And what I can then do is I can show these residue as stick and of course color them by element. When what this is showing is the residue which are four angstrom to the ligand of my, of my interest. And this allows us to see what residues are interacting with the PIP2 ligand. And what you can quickly, very quickly see is that these residues are arginine and lysine. So you can see here, arginine, arginine, there's some lysine here, which can then form a nice PIP2 binding site around the, 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 the lipid which suggests that these groove of basic residues environment are involved in PIP2 binding. So by being able to see these, by using this mode, you will be able to see which residues are near to your lipid binding site. What other thing you could do is something called an APBS calculation. An APBS calculation is a calculation which looks at the, um, the electrostatics of a surface of a molecule. So if I show the whole Kia channel molecules again, and now I'm gonna go for wizard, I'm sorry, plug in APBS electrostatics. This will show us the mode that you can look at the electrostatic and it has a code for it. And what you can click is run. It will take a bit of time, but what it will do is that it will give you an electrostatic surface around this KR 2.2 channel. And what it will tell you in this case is that um, 
what what you very soon see is that the surface around PIP2 binding site is very positive, which suggests that it is very nice to accommodate this lipid, which is PIP2, which is very negatively charged. And by doing this, you can have a roughly vague idea of an electrostatic environment near the ligand binding site that you're interested in using a very simple tool on PyMol based on the electrostatic structure. So I think this might come back. Oh, this is still loading. So this is going to take a bit of time. So what it should come out to us is, there we go, it's finished. Yes, it should close the dialogue. So what you can see now is that it shows you electrostatic surface. Here, the transmembrane region is white because it needs to be embedded in the bilayer. So it's rather hydrophobic and not interacting much. You can see a very dark blue groove in the structure's electrostatic surface accommodating these phosphate groups of the um, PIP lipid and the other part in a soluble region that is exposed to the solvent are rather having some polar surface charge allowing the cytoplasmic domain to be water soluble. Also at the loop to be water soluble here to have a bit of charge. So it's very interesting to use these two to explore a property of a static structure of a molecule in a very quick, in terms of a very quick assessment of what structure is going to look like and what properties that they're going to have. Thank you very much.